Holy smoke, I think this is an action figure. Let's go. Geeks was popping. To my pleasant surprise, this arrived in the mail today. When I ordered it, I thought it was a 12-inch statue, like the uh, Batman movie statues, but this is actually an action figure. So this is from the Black Adam movie. This is Adam Smasher. There is this size, I think it's 12 inches, and a regular size seven inch version. Did not know that. So we're gonna check them both out at the same time. All right, pardon my French. That is not a mega fig. It's officially classified as a super size fig. Not sure what the difference is. Don't really care. Let's go ahead and get them out of the box. All right, so two figures equals two cars. Don't have to fight over which side to show first. Albert Julian Rothstein. As one of the newest recruits of the Justice Society, 20 year old Al Rothstein can transform his molecular structure to grow to towering heights and alter his density to become the superhero Atom Smasher. What he lacks in experience, Adam Smasher makes up for with brute force and an endless well of youthful optimism. Aww. And we got some DC McFar stands, same size for two different size figures. There they are caged up. So there's some differences. You got an extra set of hands here, no extra hands here. Well, that's about it. Looking at that face, I'm getting a very distinct Deadpool vibe there. Fox Studios Deadpool. All right, let's set them loose. <sighs> Every time I say I want out of the McFarland Mafia, they trap me right back in. I'm digging these guys, especially the big guy. The smaller guy, mm, I could have done without him. His right foot, ankle will not spin for me, give me problems. Took a while to get him to stand up. But the big guy, nah, right off the bat, he's cooperative. He let me know that he was down to be played with. That sounded dirty, I take that back. He was down to be posed. All right, let's go ahead and take a moment to bask in all of their size changing glory. Keith Lee. While basking in their glory, I noticed that the paint job on the big one is a lot better than the small one. Maybe it's because they have more real estate to work with, but there's just a lot of sloppiness. Look at this seam down here, the orange is bleeding over. The paint over here on the side of his legs is really sloppy. The chainmail pattern is a lot more prominent on this guy. And again, that might be because he's bigger. But overall, just a cleaner aesthetic. It seems to have just much better quality overall. Other than that, they're pretty much identical. Arms up. Wingspan. Huggy hug. Double jointed elbows, giving you good range. You get head tilt on both, but the big fig, mega fig, oversized, handy dandy fig, whatever it is, his neck stem moves also, or wait, does it? But he gets a, I don't know, hold on, he gets a much bigger swing no, it's actually just the head. I thought the next stem was moving. He just gets a better tilt, I think. Maybe it looks bigger because he is bigger? I don't know, you tell me. Good range looking up and looking down. Lean with it and rock with it. And you can roll all the way around. This foot is getting on my nerves. He's giving me the willy way back and the crunch forward. 
He's giving me that six split and the van damage. Bend over on the seven inch. Bend over on the big guy is not as good. Kick range on the big guy. Kick range on the little guy. Double jointed knees give me a really good range. He gets pretty close to kicking his own butt. And the big guy, I think he gets even better range. His leg looks closer to his butt. Big guy's an all right prancer. And a big old dancer. Same for small fry. Now there is no thigh articulation, nothing at the calf. You do get 360 at the foot and you're supposed to get 360 at the ankle, which you do, or I do on the left foot, but the right foot, I need to get a pair of pliers to turn that, it won't turn. That's why I'm having so much trouble with them standing. You can see that line there is not straight and lined up even with the front of his leg. And the big guy, yes, he gives you 360 as well, as well as the articulated toe. So when I was taking out the box, I said the big guy was probably 12 inches, but I don't think the mega figs come that big. Let's find out. Nope, he comes in at nine and three quarter inches. And the little guy comes in right at seven inches, maybe a hair below seven inches. There's Adam Smasher next to Clayface. Killer Croc. Titan Joker. And Swamp Thing. So now putting him up next to these Mega Figs, I see why they didn't put Mega Fig on the box because he's a little bit small and he's really out of scale. I guess they didn't want to go big. They could have at least made him the size of Swamp Thing and I would have been satisfied with that. But right now, just the difference between these two, I don't think it's enough. But then again, I haven't seen the movie. I'm thinking of the comic book. So maybe in the comic book, he doesn't get too big. Who knows? And there's a seven inch version next to the reverse flash. This freaking awesome red hood. And there he is next to that <laughs> Arkham Knight Batman. Sorry, I chuckle. All right, Adam Smasher. 7 inch scale and super size scale. Quiet down, I'm about to render my verdict. Alright, so I dig them both. I really like the big size or fun size, super size version better. He just seems to be a little bit more premium. Paint job is much better. His joints actually feel a little bit better. Overall, it's just a better figure. I mean, they're virtually identical, but he just looks better and feels better. If you gotta go for one, I say go for the big guy. But let me know what you think in the comments. I hope this comparison helps. These guys are still up for pre-order in most places. I got mine from CMD store in Canada. They get a lot of McFarlane stuff pretty early. So I picked them up from there because they were actually on sale. So between the sale price and the shipping, it came out to the same price for me to get them here locally shipped to me. So I went ahead and nabbed them. Anyway, sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Share a link with a friend that's addicted to the plastic. Till next time, geek out of here.